a look at our oxtail that has been marinating since yesterday in the refrigerator and sat overnight. Look how nicely mirrored in the flavors are. Delicious. Huh? Smells amazing. Now we're going to get ready to brown these in the Instapot. Now normally I would put these in a Dutch oven on top uh, of the stove and then transfer them over to the Instapot, but I like the flavoring that's left in the bottom of the pot and it's hard to take that from one pot to the other. So today I'm going to cook directly in the Instapot, but I'm not going to pressure cook that yet until later. So first you start by taking some vegetable oil and just putting enough in the bottom to coat the bottom of the pan. And this is where you're gonna to start to brown your oxtail on all sides. So this is what it looks like, just enough to fill the bottom. And you're gonna add more oil as needed. Okay. I'm gonna put this on the saute setting. I'm gonna put it on low. I'll give it probably about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I can always add more time. And then I wanna put it on low because I don't want the oxtail to burn too fast. I don't want them to brown too fast. And then you get the little burn notice that comes on the Instapot. So that just takes too much time. So we're gonna start adding these into the grease once it's warmed up and got nice and hot, then we'll start browning the oxtail. Now the oil is starting to get noisy and we're gonna start putting the oxtail in the Instapot. Their own space. Then all that one can fit. Okay, and brown them on each side. You see, with the smaller pieces, you can put a lot more in there than the big pieces. So that's the end of the oxtail. Once this side gets done browning, then we'll be ready to go to the next step. And these are the ones that are already browned. That are waiting in the marination pan. Remember, you're not cooking the oxtail, you're simply just browning it. You flip it over. Why the glass face there? <laughs> there you go. Just browning. That's it. Put them all over. Probably about three minutes per size is a good enough. You know the pan that I marinated the oxtails in? This one? I take all the uncooked oxtail, transfer them into another bowl, so that the ones after I brown them, I put them right back in here. I'm not getting rid of anything. When it comes to oxtail, I save everything. So this flavor right here is going right back in the pan when I get ready to put everything together. Okay, so now that I've finished browning my first batch, I'm gonna see what that looks like. Turn that over here. Again, in the same marination pan that I had before. So I know which ones I browned and which one I didn't because they all look the same when they come out after they've been marinating overnight. You continue this process until you have browned all of the oxtail. So let me show you what flavor looks like. Most people say that's burnt. I say that's good flavor. That's all what's left from the oxtail browning. Okay, now we're gonna deglaze this with beef broth. We're gonna add garlic and allspice. Okay, I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic to the seasoning pot. And a couple of things of allspice. And how am I gonna get all that flavor out? Beef broth to deglaze the pan. 
So this will be about a cup. favorite wooden spoon it don't look that pretty but hey it does a job to deglaze it and scrape all that delicious goodness off of the bottom now you can see all the flavor it's none of the little stuff that was stuck at the bottom it's all incorporated into the liquid now we're going to add the onion as I said, I have a lot more onion than I need. So that's good enough for the onion. Okay, so we're about to get the vegetables ready for our oxtail. You're gonna need green onion. You're gonna separate the green part from the white. They have two separate purposes in this recipe. You need some fresh garlic, bell pepper, I like the red ones, yellow onion is the full thing, and you're gonna have some fresh Time. Okay, let's cut this up and be right back. One thing I want to say about cutting up bell pepper is people usually take the tops off and discard them. No, there's a lot of, I call it meat around that top. So I go around, I'm not giving anything back. Groceries are too expensive these days. I have nothing to throw away. This is what I'll throw away. That's it. See there? These things, keep it. Same thing over here. Cut around it, cut around the stem. A lot more bell pepper to be had. Some people might even plant that. I don't know, but that's a lot. Look at there. Don't waste. While we're getting ready to cut up all the vegetables, so far I got the bell pepper, um, and I'll get the onion and the green onion later. But just wanted to get you up with these. The Camilla beans are the best. So we're gonna be using these for our uh, rice and peas. That's gonna go with the oxtail a little later. Stay tuned. So now we have completed the chopping of our vegetables. So this is the green onion. See, I separated the greens from the whites. We're gonna have two separate purposes today. And then here's the bell pepper, the red one. And this is a whole onion. This is Texas size. I may use all this onion. I may not, but I went ahead and cut it up anyway. It's always good to have onion cut on hand. And this is truly a labor of love. I see why I always buy the already prepared garlic, the minced garlic, because garlic, cutting fresh garlic, a little difficult and sticky and whatever. So, but with oxtail, I'm not playing around. I'm getting the fresh garlic. And then lastly, the thyme. Time. Usually some people cut it up. I just like to slide it off of the sleeve uh, right off from the branch and get ready and I'm ready to prepare it. So I'm not going to chop this up. I'll just slide the leaves off into the dish directly. Okay. Next is the white part of the green onion. We're going to add fresh garlic. Next, we're going to add the red bell pepper. A little bell pepper, so all of that's going in, every bit of it, all two of them. Let's stir that up, incorporate it. Next, we're going to mix in about two tablespoons of ketchup. Some people do brown sugar. I don't like brown sugar. I prefer the ketchup and also the next ingredient. You'll see. This is better than any brown sugar you'll ever find, barbecue sauce. and let that simmer down for about 10 minutes until it's nice and thick. This is gonna be the sauce that we're gonna use, the gravy actually, and we're gonna put each oxtail in there and pressure cook it. With everything I'm cooking, I always say, especially when it involves a sauce, if you're not gonna taste it, you're putting very expensive meat in this sauce. So if it's not great, it's not delicious, ah, don't go further. Say less, add more flavoring or whatever you need, but oxtail is too expensive to be wasted. So I put this on a separate spoon, of course, because that's just nasty to eat out your pot. 
And if that sauce don't make you want to slap your mama, don't you put those oxtail in there. This delicious. This is delicious. Now it's ready. Time. Like I said earlier, I just pulled off the sprigs and put it directly in there. It won't even hurt if a sprig gets in there and pull it out later. The thyme, fresh thyme is always better. But if you don't have that, you can always get the dry that's in the grocery. Now that our sauce is ready, we're gonna put each oxtail down in the sauce. I like to put the big ones in at the bottom. They're gonna take longer probably to cook than the big pieces. Push it all down in there. As best you can. Room for everybody in there. Look at that deliciousness. There's going to be some good oxtail. The sauce is on point. The seasonings are hitting just right. Taste all the marination in there. That one couldn't wait to jump in there. <laughs> okay. I want to show you something. This is not even cooked. Not even cooked. These are like browned oxtail and the sauce. Look at that. It looks like it's ready to eat, but you just wait. Hmm. Okay, that's what little fellas look like in the Instant Pot. Stir the oxtail in there pretty good. Make sure everything is coated with the gravy. Look at all those flavors marrying together. There's my little thyme leaf. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, pressure cooker. We'll see you in 45 minutes. Pressure cook. Custom. 45 minutes. And all right. See you in 45 minutes. Okay, now it is now it is sauteed. So I put the oxtail to the side, and then I put the slurry in there, kind of all around. It's pretty, it is tasteless, so it's not gonna mess with the flavor of the food at all, but it will thicken that gravy up very nicely. But here is what the oxtail look like by themselves. See all the vegetables mixed in there? It's a little thyme, branch. And so the gravy is a little watery. We're gonna thicken that up and it'll be perfect. Gotta keep those tears at bay.